Today's video is all about how to treat and prevent fine lines and wrinkles using skincare and or devices alone. We all know that aging is inevitable, but of course using the right skincare products and ingredients can help slow down that aging process and in some cases even start to reverse it. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite skincare ingredients and products and some devices that can accomplish that goal. I know it kind of looks like we have a lot to talk about here, and we do, so let's get right into it. First, let's just quickly talk about peptide serums. I've talked about peptide serums a lot on my channel, including the iconic serum from The Ordinary coined Botox in a bottle. There are Gerline Solution 10%, which I have right here. I'll link a video at the end of this one of a full review I've done on this product. This has been in my skincare routine consistently for years. But what are these mysterious peptide serums that actually don't have a lot of clinical research to back their efficacy, yet many in the skincare community stand behind their ability to do some great things for the skin? In my experience, peptides at the very least are fantastic hydrators and hydrated skin will plump the look of your fine lines and wrinkles. And best case scenario, peptides help to build collagen production in the skin, which in turn helps your skin elasticity and will make your skin look more youthful. And there are a variety of different types of peptides. Neurotransmitter peptides are the ones that are found in the Ordinary's Argyre line solution. And I have to say, this serum is an absolute bargain. At the time of filming, it's only $11 for a 30 ml size. Or if you really want to splurge, I also have Murad's Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. Both of these serums aim to relax the muscles in your face, similar to how Botox works. I say that very loosely. It's kind of why these products are coined Botox in a bottle. Let's be real, nothing is going to give you the same result as Botox, but for those of us who don't want to go down the road of Botox, these kinds of products can be really great alternatives. I use these serums like a spot treatment for my wrinkles. I put them on my 11s, my forehead lines, my laugh lines, and certainly around my eyes. But there's also copper peptides, and those of you who are familiar with my channel know I have absolutely fallen in love with Neod's Kale. This particular serum is expensive. In my humble opinion, it's worth it based on the results I've seen on my skin. Neod is the sister company to The Ordinary, but it's their high-end line. So this is more expensive. It's $108 for a 50 ml size. And I usually wait till November when it's on sale and purchase it then. But the best thing to treat your fine lines and wrinkles is to incorporate a retinoid into your skincare routine if you haven't already. And my favorite retinoid is retinaldehyde or retinal for short. You're likely hearing a lot about retinal lately. A lot of brands are starting to come out with retinal products. Thank goodness, because they are so fantastic. I love using retinaldehyde on my skin. If you wanna learn all about the retinoid family, my retinoid journey, how I introduced it into my skincare routine with little to no irritation, I've done a full deep dive video on just that topic. I'll link it at the end of this video for you and I'll also link all the videos I'm talking about in the description box below. Retinal is a form of vitamin A and like all retinoids, an amazing product to use in your skincare routine to really target fine lines and wrinkles. And that's because retinoids increase collagen production in the skin, they increase the elasticity of your skin, they also increase skin cell turnover, helping with hyperpigmentation and dark spots, in addition to really reversing the signs of aging by diminishing the look of those fine lines and wrinkles. Really excited to talk about this one today. This is Peach and Lily's Retinal for All Renewing serum. They sent it over to me in PR to try and my skin has been loving this formulation. One of the reasons I love retinol so much is it's very good for sensitive skin. My skin is sensitive prone, rosacea prone. It's also combination and dehydrated just for reference. If you'd like to know my age, it's 48. I'm very open about that too. Peach and Lily's formulation is literally a plethora of great ingredients for the skin like glycerin and ceramides but also antioxidants to offer some skin protection, nice hydration, hydrating ingredients paired with the retinol and soothing ingredients too. It's fragrance free, alcohol free and essential oil free and at the time of filming is $55 Canadian for a 30 ml size. I use my retinol in my evening skincare routine. I apply it to dry skin and it comes after my cleansing serum section of my routine but before my moisturizer and face oil. Pro tip, I always apply an eye cream or a moisturizer around my eyes prior to applying my retinol because even if I'm not applying the retinol 
out around my eyes, which I do not because my skin there is very sensitive. It actually bleeds. When I apply it to my skin, it bleeds up towards my eyes and it causes irritation there. By using a moisturizer ahead of time, it puts a barrier around my eyes and prevents that from happening. Otherwise, I get really inflamed skin on that delicate skin around my eyes. Drop a comment below if any of you have that experience with your retinoid products as well. Next up, let's talk about vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant to have, in my opinion, in your morning skincare routine, although some people like to use vitamin C in their evening skincare routines as well, and that is perfectly fine. The only reason I don't is because I want the antioxidant protective factors of vitamin C in my morning routine and focus on using my retinol in my evening skincare routine. I was really privileged to be invited to an event hosted by SkinCeuticals, and they actually did an analysis of my face, and then I had a consultation with someone who recommended which vitamin C product would be ideal for me. And they recommended this one. This is their vitamin C serum 10 AOX plus. It is formulated specifically for people with sensitive skin. It has a 10% L ascorbic acid, a 0.2% ferulic acid, and that combination is just beautifully formulated to deliver all the well aging benefits vitamin C has to offer, including brightening the skin, targeting hyperpigmentation in the skin, inducing collagen production in the skin to really target the look of those fine lines and wrinkles. It's fragrance and alcohol free. It's just expensive. This particular one is $118 Canadian for a 30 ml size, but I've done a video all about vitamin C's and I'll link it for you and it goes over vitamin C's at a variety of price points. I just wanted to show you this one as an example and my skin is loving this formulation. Speaking of alternatives to Botox, I have to talk about these little things too. These are silicone patches. Now I worked for this brand over on TikTok. They're called Wrinkle Schminkles. I just love saying that word and so do my kids. These patches are designed to be worn overnight. These particular ones are for around the eyes, but the brand has ones for the forehead, face. These patches have a thick silicone texture and you just apply your moisturizer, eye serum, whatever you want underneath, lay it on top and it really keeps your skin from folding and creasing while you sleep. They adhere really well to the skin. They're reusable as well. And there's a variety of options to choose from in terms of size, price, and the types of patches that you're buying. I think for this one, a pack of three was around $43 Canadian. I also want to talk about red LED therapy, which again, another non-invasive product that uses red LED to target collagen production in the skin. A device I use several times per week, and I've talked about this before on my socials, is this one by Current Body. It's their LED Eye Perfector. It's honestly just so easy to use. You pop it on for two minutes a day and actually I capitalize on that opportunity for a little bit of mindfulness, relax, enjoy the experience. The fine lines and wrinkles, I guess that bother me the most if you wanna say that. The ones that I want to minimize the most are around my eyes. So a device like this really targets that particular area with very minimal effort. Any device you're gonna purchase is gonna have an initial investment. This one is around $250 at the time of filming, but of course you're getting that spa-like treatment in the comfort of your own home. And that can be said for the other devices I wanna talk about too. I've done full reviews on most of the devices I'm gonna talk about here. But the most common question I get on those videos, especially for people that watch one video and then another video, which one would I choose if I could only pick one? It's very difficult and there's definitely personal preference built into that question as well. The Even Skin Lumo was the first device I ever received from a brand. I guess it has a special place in my heart for that reason alone, but also because it's an all-in-one device. It literally has everything in the palm of your hand, so to speak. LED light therapy, radio frequency, electrical muscle stimulation, it has it all. So if you're looking for an all-in-one, you don't wanna invest in all kinds of devices and have all different things going on in your routine, this is the one for you. But if you prefer to break up your routines and technology, this little duo is something else. When it comes to electrical muscle stimulation to this day, I just love the ergonomics of this one a lot. This is by Medicube. I also worked for this brand. This is their EMS device. I also worked with Medicube on this one. This is their deep shot device. It's a high frequency device. I feel like this one has the capability to deliver the most results. And this one, which is Nebulif's radio frequency device. This is their N1 device. Honestly, 
is just my favorite from a user experience. This one is like going to the spa. This is full relaxation, radio frequency, warming up the skin, relaxing for the amount of time that you want to use it for. I get really good results for it and I just <laughs> like the experience. And skincare is all about enjoying the process. So there's a lot to be said for that. When you look forward to using something, you're likely to use it more. And this one, I actually haven't talked about. Also by Medicube, they sent this over for me to try. It's their HR booster device, which is really focused on how to get the most out of your skincare. What this product does is increase your skin's permeability so that your skincare products are more readily absorbed into your skin and therefore you're getting more out of your vitamin C, your hydrating products, whatever serums you're using. This one's really trending in Korean skincare circles and we all know we tend to take our cues from what the Korean skincare market is doing. So drop a comment below if you want a full review on this one and I'll add that to my content calendar as well. Which leads me to my next comment which is don't underestimate the power of hydrating skincare products. I talk a lot about hydrating skincare products on my channel but two that I just wanted to call out today because I just love this brand. I love to shout them out whenever I can because they're from Toronto. They're an indie skincare brand. Regimen Lab has recently formulated their Wave Serum which is an uber hydrating serum and also reformulated their cream which is their moisturizer so these are both iteration two of these particular products I love to apply the wave serum and this on top or even mix the two together to create honestly just like a burst of hydration into my skin wave is $47 and cream is 49 but together honestly they really pack a fabulous hydration punch I just had an image of a punch bowl does anybody use those anymore that was such a thing back in the day for my parents any party they had there was a punch bowl drop a comment if you can relate and last but not least crucial to wear a sunscreen every day that's going to prevent your fine lines and wrinkles from forming in the first place especially those uva rays are really what cause cell damage within the skin that contribute to premature aging not to mention skin cancer and i want to call out this sunscreen which is like fresh hot off the presses recently launched at sephora but the brand sent this over to me to try ahead of time and actually my application video that I'm probably rolling here right now is me trying it for the first time. I am super impressed with this product. This is a mineral sunscreen. Its consistency is very fluid and sheer. Actually reminds me a little bit of the Skin Aqua sunscreen if you're familiar with that one. And of course, what do we hate about mineral sunscreens? We can all say it together, the white cast. This one, very minimal, if any, white cast. I'm wearing it right now. Now I do have a CC cream on over top, but you can see in my video the finished product and how it looks. Very impressed with this product so far. The brand is Ever Eden. This is an SPF 50 and it's $39 for a 60 ml size. Fragrance free, a whole host of hydrating ingredients cute little clip so we can clip it to our beach bags in the summer. This might be the sunscreen of the summer for me. Let's be clear, age is a privilege not all get to enjoy. I love my fine lines and wrinkles. They mean something to me, but I would like to minimize the look of them as best I can. I hope you enjoyed my roundup of skincare products and devices in this video. Drop your fave products and devices in the comments section below. Watch these videos if you haven't already, and I hope you have a fabulous day.